Well, Benny, we saw earlier uh, about that big centenary celebration up there at Mansfield, and they do love their footy up there. They sure do. It's a pretty healthy scene. We caught up with a number of the luminaries to tell us all about it. Peter, the Mansfield Football Club uh, has been in a bit of the media this year. Yeah, we've, uh, we've had a fair amount of press, which is uh, all good. You uh, got a, a footy jumper sent over for the Royal Wedding? Uh, we did, yeah. We got a call... Uh, late in the piece, um, asking us if we, if we could uh, do that for them. So we went around and got it all organised and uh, got it over there just in time. So. Who was the jumper for? Uh, for the Prince, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had, to see, <laughs> had to see whether Craig was here because he thought of it, he was the number one ticket holder, Craig, and he always gets a bit touchy about that. So. You know, we've been in the TV now for uh, some time. Our, our formative years, uh, were, we struggled. Uh, no doubt about that for the first four or five years. And, um, since uh, a, a change in um, our uh, attitudes to um, coaching and, and players and that, which is around the 2004 mark, um, we've, since then we've been in the finals all bar one, one year, so uh, we're pretty proud of that achievement for a small little town. What's the importance of having someone with a high profile like Craig Kelly coaching your club? Oh, look, Craig's been absolutely fantastic for us. He, um, he brings more to the club than just his uh, coaching talent. He's, um, he's a very passionate man. He, he, he loves not only uh, the Mansfield Football Neville Club, but the, the town itself, and uh, he really embraces the whole community. Um, he does get uh, very passionate at times, as you may uh, see it throughout the course of the day. But, uh, look, he's just, yeah, I mean, as I say, more than, more than the coach. He's a, a mentor to a lot of the younger kids and they look up to him. And, and of course, he's got that many uh, contacts in that too, which sort of helps in recruiting in, in those areas. Most of the time when I come to Mansfield, um, I bring my family. So we, we usually come up on the Friday and it's been Friday night and Saturday night in Mansfield and really enjoy the local, uh, local small businesses and have something to eat and, and obviously hang around after a game and have something to drink. So. It's, um, it's good to be able to get the family up here. You play the Eastern Footy League, and what's the difference between that and the Golden Valley? I was just discussing this earlier, actually. Um, the grounds are a lot smaller in the Eastern League. The bodies seem to be a little bit a little bit bigger, a little bit more solid around the hips, but um, the Eastern is is more in and under and um, a lot tighter. The, the grounds are uh, wetter, smaller, heavier, um, but um, the Golden Valley is, is nice and open and there's a lot of running involved. Oh, I've got a place up here, so I've... Uh... I've been coming up here for sort of 10, 15 years and uh, I'm originally from the country in South Australia so it's a good little uh, escape from Melbourne, get out of the rat race and the crazy part of VFL or AFL life we have down there. And so uh, taking on the coaching role, that was a bigger step up then, more commitment? Oh yeah, it's not too bad, I mean it's, I, I, I'm sort of involved in that in Melbourne and, uh, and it's good to be able to put something back into the town and it's a good little town, we've got a great little club, we had a good first year, second year was a little bit uh, disappointing and this year has been frustrating. You were hoping to uh, finish up this year and uh, go out with Premiership glory, how's uh, it looking? Uh, well, so we're, we're behind the eight ball at the moment but we've still got a good enough side if we get our whole side together to be, to be very competitive so we'll just play it uh, week by week, old cliche but that's the way it is at the moment. Playing up here and playing in a Premiership, how much did that mean to the town? Um, oh, that's. I mean, I think the great thing about Mansfield it really bats above its average in regard to the size of the town compared to the other towns in the Golden Valley, and they do a wonderful job. So, you know, Menchie won their first flag in the GBFL, and then uh, we were fortunate enough to do that again. So, we've been in the finals nearly every year, um, and that's all you can do. So, uh, keep recruiting, working in the youth. There's some really good young kids coming through, and the junior footy program is fantastic here. So, the future looks really bright. So, it's uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. What about recruitment of players? Patrick Bowden's playing uh, yep. up here. Yeah, Paddy Bowden, Nick Geeson, Timmy Dimitri. I mean, they've been here, or Pat, Nick and, and Tim especially, have been here, Simon Hart, for three years now. So, I mean, there's a real want. Uh, they, they, we've got a good base down in Melbourne. We have got have training at Gosh's Paddy, Collingwood's home ground. And then they come up here and, uh, and play a game. It's hard. We've sort of got two groups. It's hard to get everyone together. So we, we try not to recruit too many out of town. Um, there's a lot of guys, so a lot of kids from Mansfield that are uni, etc., in Melbourne or working in Melbourne. So it gives us the ability to tap into the local guys that may 
may, may not necessarily be coming home to play if they didn't have a training facility in Melbourne. So, no, it works out well. So if you finish up as coach, will you stay involved with the footy oh, club? Always, yeah, yeah. No, I'm definitely involved. I mean, more than likely, uh, there's a few options. Local guys that we're talking to in relation to takeover. Um, I reckon any coach for the three years is a good good term. Got to have succession plans in place. And uh, and the plan would be for me to very much be involved in Melbourne and sort up here. I love the town. I love coming up here and gives me an excuse to get away from the office.